In this video, we are going to go over your event dashboard. The event dashboard will give you a high level overview of your event details, including ticket sales and event URLs. You can also navigate from the event dashboard to additional event settings. From your upcoming events listing page, click on the event you would like to view. The next page is your event dashboard. This page serves as an overview of your event. In the upper left corner, you will see the event name, date, and venue or location, as well as a link to switch event and return to your organization's upcoming event page. Just below that is the events navigation menu. The important ones to call out are basic info, this is where you set up your event title, date, and venue or location of the event. Details, where you can enter an event image, summary, and description. Tickets, where you can set up and edit your event's ticket types, add-ons, holds, and listing page settings. Publish, where you can manage the privacy of your event and publish or schedule publish. Order options, where you can customize the information collected on each order. Payments and tax, where you can handle your event payment processing and add your bank information and view your tax information. Marketing, where you can find Eventbrite's marketing tools and your event's discount and access codes. Manage attendees, where you can access your attendees' information. And finally, reports where your event's financial information and analytical data are. This navigation bar will remain on the left side while you work in your event. Now that we know where to find the different parts of your event, let's look at the dashboard itself. Starting from the top and moving left to right, we first get to the status box. This will tell you if the event is live and on sale or not. Right next to this, we have the event's privacy setting. Public, meaning the event is listed and searchable via Eventbrite, and private, meaning the event is live, but only those with access to the event are able to view it. Below the privacy settings, you will see your net sales, tickets sold, add-ons, and page views. You can click into each option for a view of a chart with more data. If you click on tickets sold, you will see a breakout of paid versus free versus available and below the chart, you can see the number of tickets pending. Clicking add-ons will show a breakdown of any add-ons sold and page views represents the number of unique views to your event listing page. If there are paid sales for your event, to the right, you will see the current amount to be paid out and the payout method associated with your event. Scrolling down, if you have received payouts for your event, you will see a list of the most recent payouts and payout amounts, as well as the date they were scheduled and the estimated arrival date. If you haven't yet received a payout, you won't see this section. Next, we will see sales by ticket type, links to common event reports, a list of recent orders, an overview of your event traffic, and finally, the links to your organization's event page and the URL for this specific event. Your organizer URL will link to all events that are live, public, and on sale under this organizer page. Your event URL will link directly to this event. To customize your organizer URL, click Change to the right and update accordingly. To customize your event URL, click Edit. To return to your upcoming events page, select Events from your avatar dropdown in the right-hand side. And that's an overview of your event dashboard. Visit our Help Center or YouTube channel to find more tips and resources to guide you through creating, managing, and promoting your events on Eventbrite.